Hi, Taurus. Okay, so the awareness of the week, we begin with the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about movement. It's about this wheel spinning, the wheel of life spinning. And often, uh, you know, random events happen. Things just happen, and at a moment's notice, things change. Some good and not, not so good sometimes. It's a matter of how you react to these changes. So this week, something may change for you. It may be a positive change. You may still feel on top of this wheel. You may feel as if things are speeding up for you. The pace of your life is picking up. Uh, you know, there's a sense here of the universe at work and the universe is turning this wheel and, you know, the seasons change and we have these things that we do expect and then things that we don't expect. And again, it's a matter of how you respond to what happens in your life. I would say that if you are, that if you have a decision to be made, you know, you may want to take a little extra time in thinking about how you respond or what your answer is. But this is about, you know, uh, dealing with the changes that come. Changes in good fortune and sometimes not such good fortune. Either way, you have to be mindful that, you know, day after day after day we live a certain way and then all of a sudden that can change. So be smart and be aware that the universe has this greater design. You still have control. You still have will to make decisions and be prepared for the pace perhaps picking up this week. So the other awareness for the week is the King of Wands. I would say the King of Energy, the King of Charisma, the King of Excitement, because this is a guy who craves excitement and adventure and good ideas and fun ideas. And so very much big, big character, charismatic. You may be working with someone like this, someone who has a really big presence or this could be you, or it could be someone that you're seeing or in your family, just somebody who has a larger than life personality, more often than not successful in their career, might even have a big ego, uh, is very proud of their success and is able to advise accordingly and help someone else to be able to be, to be, and to share success as well. So, the thing to think about is that sometimes the King of Wands can be a little aggressive, could be a little uh, domineering, and could get bored easily if the ideas don't stimulate or keep him interested. He may lose interest quickly. So adventure, I would say for this reading for you, Taurus, it's a matter of show your charm this week, you know, have some fun, have some adventure, loosen up, and, um, you know, use your expertise to help and to continue your success. Um, but mostly, you know, enjoy what you're doing. Have some fun. Enjoy what you're doing. So now let's look at guidance. Ooh, we have another night. So we have the sun, major arcana, happy, happy card, confidence, accomplishment, recognition. Here the sun is burning brightly and it's shining right on you. So you may be uh, having a really good, good stroke of fortune. Back to this wheel of fortune card. You may be having success at work with your relationships. You might meet someone and begin a process of a great you know, building a great relationship. This little baby on the horse is feeling free and having fun. This big banner represents the passions in your life, so we're getting a real sense here of follow your passions, of make things happen. There's abundance here with the sunflowers. Our sun brings our life force. It brings us energy. It brings us creativity. It spurs us along 
to, uh, to create great things. And so there's a lot of greatness within this card and within this spread here of good fortune, taking charge, having fun, and um, perhaps enjoying the, the freedom and the celebration of this high energy, of positive, favorable energy. So there's a sense of illumination here that we, we are enlightened. When we give our light out into the world, we get it back, and it's this wonderful exchange. So a lot of good things here, and then uh, the Knight of Wands, again, adventure, passion, taking charge, uh, personal growth, spiritual growth, you know, professional development or personal development. You're out to make some changes and to have some fun and to do some things. Taurus, and that's, that's a good thing. Take charge of, of what it is that you want to do, of your passions, and take charge and take responsibility for the changes that come into your life. If you can focus your mind in thinking in a certain way, you can navigate any reverse direction of the wheel. You know, you're in a smart position to do so. And finally, let's choose two cards for possible outcomes. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So we have the Hermit, Major Arcana. So after all of this excitement and high energy and take action and take charge, there's a sense where you feel you have to pull back and maybe get out of all the energy and all the activities. You may want to have some time to yourself, create some time for yourself for you to contemplate, to meditate, to think about things. What's interesting is here, this Ten of Swords is right below the sun. And the Ten of Swords is really put a fork in you, you're done. It's over. Whatever it is that was crappy or bad or hurtful or depressing or the loss that you felt, it's over. It's done. And the, you're not going to get any worse than Ten Swords in your back. And down your body here. So what does this Ten of Swords tell you to do? It tells you to focus on the light, the sliver of light in the light blue here, that you have to focus on the light and you have to use your sense of self in order to help you move beyond this. I would still say, you know, you have a lot of energy here and that maybe this relates to overdoing it and feeling tired or exhausted or stressed out. This sun is a very, very powerful card spread wise. And uh, whether you have felt, been feeling guilty, concerned, you have been betrayed, you've been hurt, you, if you focus on this light, you're going to be able to get over it and get beyond it. Okay, let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. And this will be a focus area or meditation point for the week. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and mir miracles are natural. So you may not feel like love sometimes when you feel like this. You may feel rock bottom. You may feel depleted. You may feel in pain, silent suffering. But if you have faith and if you believe in yourself and if you do have the mindset of talking about and coming from a place from love, then you can really get through any challenging time within your life. And so now I'm going to choose a card for uh, spirit or emotional self. The light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light. Become, because in reality, that's precisely what you are. 
You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are and what a lovely connection with the sun and letting your light shine. And again, you have to focus on the light. The light will carry you through the challenging times. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what is shaken with love. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And Taurus, Taurus loves romantic gestures. And so it fits right in expressing your love, being romantic. And hopefully you'll also have a partner or someone who will uh, respond in like, who will also be as equally romantic and loving and expressive. So Taurus, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment.